So my grandpa Rogerman started the farm. He bought the farm in I think the late 60s it was, and he never uh, lived on the farm, but he bought it as an investment. And then his uh, nephews ran the farm for a couple years it was. And then in 1973, um, my parents started farming here with my mom and dad after they were just married a couple years with uh, two small girls and they had uh, 15 cows and 15 sows. Yeah, I always showed quite a bit of interest in farming. Um, all the kids helped out in the farm when they were younger. Whatever was needed, they were always there to help out. But I kind of had the most knowledge or interest in the farm through my entire childhood. And then I went to school for it. Then I found a niche to come back here and uh, take over it from my parents. We uh, focus our big attention is on our animals in our barn. We have a lot of technology we use that helps us monitor those animals. All of our cows have like a Fitbit on their necks. We use that information to track our animals as far as how they're feeling today and their activity and their movements and things like that. Um, so we try to use as much modern technology as possible. We also have an automatic calf feeder where the calves are fed automatically with through a kind of a robotic, I guess you would say, to do that. So our main focus on cows, as far as the cropping in goes, the tractor driving goes, we hire a lot of the equipment done. And as far as the corn planting, the corn harvesting, the chopping, and manure hauling, and things like that, they all harvest it. Uh, the pricing is always a challenge in farming. We can't control the prices that we receive for our products at times. That's kind of a challenge sometimes. Also, um, some of the weather related, you know, mother nature, I guess we can't control what she gives us sometimes. You have to give and take uh, what she provides for us at different times of our growing season, especially this year has been kind of trying. Um, that's two of the bigger ones, I guess. You know, we also have to deal with um, a wide variety of things, you know, and, um, as far as different perspectives on agriculture, you know, how to uh, get to change people's mindset about dairy farming and how we handle our animals and produce the milk on our farm and how we care for, you know, how we care for the products that we produce on our farm. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a little challenging. I mean, people are really aware of uh, the products that they consume nowadays. You know, they want to know how the animals are handled, how they're taken care of, and how they're housed. They're big on nutrition of the products that they're receiving, you know, the healthiness of the products. And I think um, technology is going to be here to help us um, be more efficient with our animals and labor and things like that. I think it's going to be working more with your brain and not so much with your back with technology available. I mean, with the robots being able to milk cows and less interaction with people, um, it's really going to change some of the philosophies that we've had for farming in the past.